Now, what is very disturbing is sometimes people may say, well, if you're gonna eat that animal, you don't really care for it. And actually, that's totally incorrect. Welcome, y'all, to another episode of The Max. Well, before we go any further, I come, up, I come upstairs to get our stand and we've had the air off and I don't know if y'all can see that 82 degrees Woo! it's warm up here I'm upstairs the room so we just finished I'm looking for the stand for my camera for you guys because I want to go show y'all what we're doing today there it is on the floor but first I want to give you guys a sneak peek of our upstairs room so now that the air is kicked on it still hasn't cooled off but let me give y'all sneak peek at Aiden's room hopefully it's cleaned up so y'all see we got finished with the painting caulking Aiden's got his guitar stands up there so we also utilize this bunk bed space this is Aiden's bed for now Jennings will soon be I say soon he will eventually be up here when he's big enough this was Aiden's birthday present and of course you can see we're still not totally finished we've got to get some shelvings for his tv to get put up and things like that he has this mandolin up on the wall here's another shot of his guitars and that he's finally able to have his own space uh here's the desk area kind of like our working computer youtube edit space here this is where we come up and do those type things kids i'll practice piano up here get y'all to the bathroom that y'all seen us working on so here's aiden's bathroom this is his space it is done and that would be his shower space we are done so I hope y'all enjoy that quick clip, look around upstairs. We're still not 100% done, but we are basically done with all the maintenance stuff. It's just finishing little knickknack things like getting shelves and stuff that we need for certain spots. So I hope y'all enjoyed that. Because as you guys seen in some of our older videos, that was definitely a huge project that we tackled and we're glad that it's done. I wanna show y'all what I'm doing now and talk to you a little bit about why I'm doing it and stuff like that. This is our big tub bin, I don't know what you wanna call it, that we keep our turkeys and meat ducks. Meat ducks, hey, I'm losing it. Our turkeys and our new ducks in that have been in the garage so what we've been doing is their bedding would get kind of nasty or smelly or looks gross or whatever. We would put more shavings on there, more shavings on there. Well, eventually you kind of max yourself out and you're like, okay, this stinks. I've got to clean it out. So I have moved them into a temporary holding for right now. This is where they currently are. Now, if you guys, I don't think we've talked to y'all a whole lot about this. I put it on social media, but not really our YouTube. These are turkeys and ducks that I have hatched from our eggs. I've put them out in the incubator and hatched those little babies out. So we're raising those up. I have another set here. Of course, y'all can see these are a little bit bigger and that's what their bedding usually looks like but so we're cleaning it out for them and putting them in a um, cleaner space and i said all that to say this the reason why loved that big huge thing on the back of the ranger took it to the compost bin dumped all that out i just sprayed it out i'm gonna let it air it, it sitting in the air and in the sunshine as y'all just seen for a little while the reason why i did all that is because our animals needed a healthier, cleaner environment. Well, we had really maxed out, giving them deep bedding for really as far as we could without just cleaning it out and giving them fresh bedding. Now, we take very good care of our animals, even if they are going to be our food. We care for them, we take good care of them, because ultimately, in return, they're gonna take very good care of us. The, the turkeys and the ducks that I'm raising up now, the ducks will lay eggs for us to be able to eat. 
The turkeys, um, of course, will use some of the gobblers to raise up for Thanksgiving. And the hens will continue to lay eggs so that we can continue that, that process. Now, what is very disturbing is sometimes people may say, well, if you're gonna eat that animal, you don't really care for it. And actually, that's totally incorrect. The better care that we take for our animals and concern for their health and their well-being, the better we'll be in return. Because if we don't take care of them, we don't give them the light and the good water and the good food and a good environment that they need to survive and thrive, ultimately we'll lose our food, which is a loss for us. So for those that say, if you eat meat, you don't love your animals, that's completely incorrect. Take care of them. We tend to them, we provide all their needs, meet all of their needs, because ultimately they're taking care of us in one way or another. This has gone from really stinky and nasty to fresh and clean. I wish I would have thought to grab the quarter before I actually started cleaning this out. We have some plans this afternoon. And I really kind of ran out in a hurry thinking about all we needed to do, so I did not do that. And one of the hacks I'm going to do to this big tub is I have these little um, ties off to the side, and I want to show y'all this. I have these ties off to the side because I have a big set of ducks and turkeys, but I have more hatching in my incubator. But I don't want to utilize all of this space for just my big ones or for just my small ones. So I have these ties on each side and I'm gonna put this cardboard in between and I'm going to put fresh bedding in there. I will move my turkeys down in just about three days and then they'll hatch in about two or three days after that. So about five or six days, I'll have a whole new batch of turkeys that I'll need to put somewhere. I'm gonna rope off a middle section by tying up a piece of cardboard. Neither set need the entire space. So I'm going to half that and make two sections for each set of birds. Now I'm doing that and splitting them off because I want my older ducks and turkeys not to trample on my smaller ones and I will so slowly acclimate the two together as my other ones get older. I'm just in the tub, like literally, y'all, just kind of wiping out the bottom. I don't want my older birds stomping on and walking all over my beaties or my babies. That's the reason why I'm gonna do this to this unit here, is to section it off into two spaces so that we can have a side for the older and a side for the smaller, and as the smaller get bigger, I can pop that cardboard in the middle of the day and watch them and make sure that they don't start picking on each other, they're getting along well, and we don't have any problems there. That was way more than I anticipated. So now I'm going to be putting some back in that bag. I did not realize so much was in there, and they do not need a layer that thick to start with. So I'm going to be putting some of that back in there and whoops okay so here's the little straps i was telling you about these actually just come with our garage uh, section in our garage that we have in here to hang up stuff now what i'm going to do with these is take them and slide them on this little ledge i suppose any kind of clamps that you have would work and i have these velcros on this other side and i did the same thing with these bigger ducks and the little ducks my cardboard is over there, beep, right there, and we'll take it in here, and you see the strap on the other side, and I've got a hole in the cardboard over there, and a hole in the cardboard over here, and I basically just stuck these straps in that cardboard and strapped it down, so it made like a divider. It's a pretty cool idea, y'all. Y'all better utilize that idea. Temperature is a big thing when you're talking about small birds, so the, the really big thing with small birds, especially ones that are not fully feathered, is temperature. If their temperature drops um, below what it should be and they get too cold for too long, 
they will not last. Initially, shut their entire bodies down faster than anything else. Making sure that they are warm enough and fully feathered, they're able to sustain their body temperatures more when their down is gone and they're fully feathered. So we're not gonna move them out just yet, but until my turkeys hatch, we're gonna do that and utilize that space very wisely. That's 50 hens right there. We did not hatch those out. So I wanna tell you the backstory behind these babies right here. Back this fall, our layers were not laying well, like one or two eggs at the most. That was every now and then. Colby and I did not know if we were going to just give those away, sell them. We were just unsure. We said that we were going to give them to the spring. Now, none of our, let me, let me tell y'all this so that y'all know before you make comments. Our laying hens have never really slacked up. No matter the temperature, we have always um, kept heat lamps in the coop, safely put in the coop, secured to the walls so that they have the access to light that they need at all times. Our many years of doing hens, ours have never stopped laying, even through the fall and winter. So we were shocked by that. I still don't know exactly what caused it. We did uh, several things, added different Freedom Rangers in. They ended up being a bully, so we found that out. We did a food swap in the middle of all of that. So I think it was a combination, plus the cold weather. We just did not know what we were going to do with them. We kept saying, they'll pick up laying, they'll pick up laying, they'll pick up laying. Well, they never did. Colby placed an order for 50 hens, y'all, 50 hens. So there's our hens. Um, they came in this morning, and I had them in a temporary spot until I could pull them a bigger place, get some pine shavings in there. So I'm about to move them over into their new spot. Same thing, you can see I unofficially have the heat lamps propped up. Those are not the way they're going to stay, so y'all please don't panic. I'm not a huge fan of heat lamps either. For the time being, we, we've got to do what we've got to do to keep our babies alive. That's not how they're going to stay. I will, I'm, I am rearranging those and getting those propped up better to make sure that first we're safe, second they're safe. So we're just going to get busy doing that, moving those over. I am kind of excited. Y'all trying to explore and find the other side. These are babies that we got this morning that we ordered actually months ago. That right there in itself should tell y'all something because we ordered these little guys probably the first of December, maybe the end of the fall, first of the winter. And we're just now getting them, you're talking like five months later. And thankfully our chickens have picked up. They're laying great. We get 15 to 18 eggs out a day now. And for 25 to 30 hens, that's not too bad. Some of them are a little bit older, but we're spending quality time this morning doing maintenance, cleaning up, um, and getting these birds set up because we want to take the best care of our animals that we can. Happy homesteading, y'all.